platform that will be of help, and then we have the following quality. Uh, and so it's easy to have the corollary from this here. For a quantity L of x, the to have data bound not trivial. Uh, but we want to calculate L of x explicitly not for all these numbers, but for some. Uh, for this purpose, we take, uh, we go back to our sequences, and we uh, see that there are some special sequences. Uh, we call it periodic modular one. These are the sequences, uh, which uh, has fractional parts, which has the sequence of fractional part during periodic. For example, we take the Fibonacci periods and we put the first two elements as 2 over 5 and 1 over 5. Then uh, uh, the, the sequence that we obtain is uh, periodic module 1 and the period uh, has the length 4 and is the following one. Uh, and uh, why this uh, Periodic module 1 sequences are interesting for us because it's easy to calculate the listening point of these sequences. And for uh, this special sequence uh, to define the natural appearance, uh, the listening point is 1 over, over 5. Uh, so we obtain the lower bound for alpha in this case. Uh, and we will further to obtain the lower bounds. We will look for a uh, periodic sequence module 1 with uh, maximum listening point. Uh, to obtain the upper bound, we will just calculate the following expressions for some k. We will take uh, maximum, maximum over all our linear differences, uh, over, of minimum over several consecutive members. Uh, for example, to obtain the, the bound 1 over 5, double bound 1 over 5 for L of X, uh, we need to calculate uh, this expression for K equals 6. So this is the explicit form of what we need to do, and it happens to be 1 over 5. Uh, but for example, if we take uh, other appearance, which is, seems to be really similar to the Fibonacci one, uh, appearance, we, uh, it, it happens that uh, it's not enough to take the right number of consecutive elements. And uh, in this case, we need to somehow evaluate the limit of these expressions, and the only way to do it right now is the use of the modifications of the theorem of the tourism I have already shown. Uh, so this, I just talked briefly about how to uh, get uh, the explicit, how to calculate explicitly the values of analytics. And here is the list of some results. Uh, I will start from the Norwegian degree team. Uh, these here are results only for the three special cases. When the sum of uh, the equations of the periodic sequence is odd, L of is 1 over 2. Uh, when all of the equations of uh, the linear appearance are positive, the degree is greater than 1 and uh, alpha is not the low dimension, then we have the following form of L of and the maximum periodic sequence here uh, is the uh, following one. It has uh, the fraction sequence of the fraction parts of B, it has a spirit periodic, and the length of the sphere is only one. Uh, case two, when we can calculate parallax, <coughs> is when uh, the coefficients with the uh, odd indexes are positive and the coefficients with the uh, uh, even indices are negative. Here uh, L of x equals to this expression 
and the maximum periodic sequence has the period of Q and looks like this. Uh, so this works this work only three special cases. Let's start from the beginning from the small degrees. So the first degree is when alpha is the zero fixed so This is very simple. If the alpha A is on, then it's one over two which corresponds to the case 0 uh, of an arbitrary degree to 30. The case uh, 2 is minus 0. So if we do there is a uh, picture for all of the all of these numbers, it's quite easy to draw this picture. So uh, again, there are three cases, 0, 1, 2, that are true for an arbitrary D. There is one special case, uh, case 3. So let's start from case 0. So if uh, the sum is odd, then alpha is 1 over 2. That when uh, uh, it's when uh, our piece number is on the right side of the picture with the following restrictions, uh, excluding uh, the goal direction, then we have a plus b minus 2 over 3 plus and when it's on the left side, uh, then it's all expression. And for the goal ratio, the case is special. It's one over five. The next picture is for the piece of numbers of degree three. Of course, uh, if alpha is uh, zero of the following polynomial, the picture should be three-dimensional. But this is the section when uh, f for 1 is constant. Oh, it's, it always looks like that. For example, this picture is for a1 equals 10. Always for the section a1 uh, is a constant, there are three different areas. The, uh, there, which is marked with light green and dark green, is the same, uh, just the formulas are slightly different. Uh, so for a zero, again, if, if the sum is odd, it's always one half. If uh, the sum is even and uh, our piece number is in the red area, then again, it's the sum of coefficients minus two over two sum of the coefficients minus two. Uh, when it's in the blue area, which is on the left side, uh, then it looks like this. And for the first case, uh, for the green area, we have uh, the following expression with this periodic sequence, which has the degree uh, of the length of 4. It happens that the Fibonacci sequence satisfies these formulas. So uh, there, there was 1 over 5. If uh, you uh, uh, if you place here a1 equals 1, a2 equals 1, a3 equals 0, or a4 equals 0, equals 0, it will be 1 over 5. Uh, and for degree 4, the, there is no such exclusive formulas. Uh, there are some numbers which satisfy the our previous formulas, uh, but there are different cases. There are three of them I wrote down. Uh, when the periodic sequence does not satisfy this formula and the period of this sequence is different. For example, we have only one, two, and four previously for the cases of one, two, and three. And here are the periods of six, three, and eight. So, to end my speech, uh, I would like to present all my results in this form. That if we take these numbers uh, with the to be not greater than 3, or with the minimum polynomial for the two following forms, then we can say that L of x is greater than is 
not less than one over pi. And the equality is only when alpha is the zero of well, these two polynomials. And what the work which is not yet finished, if we add to uh, the conditions of this theorem uh, all these numbers of degree four, then uh, we obtain the difference in equality and uh, with the 3 over 17, and the quality will be only when alpha is the 0 of x to the 4 power minus x to the minus 1. This alpha is the second smallest Poisson number. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for attention. Thank you for your talk. Other any questions? Okay, if not, I thank Victoria and all speakers of this session.